What is up, Piper Drivers? Welcome back to the channel. Today in the house, I got Hot Toys Death Watch Mandalorian. Pretty hyped about this one. This is the third Mandalorian figure that I have that's not Din Djarin, so I'm pretty excited to see how this guy looks in person. Been waiting for him for quite a while. Uh, thankfully, it wasn't so much of a delay, so that's not too bad. Also, before I get started, I just want to thank everybody that's been coming over to my gaming live streams that are happening on Tuesdays and Saturday nights. I really appreciate you guys that have been joining me for that and also for the live streams that we have on Sundays. I will be having a lot more, a different variety of videos on this channel, so expect to see more reactions, more of these figure type unboxings, statue unboxings, video game type videos, newsy type stuff, all the stuff revolving around Star Wars. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure that you're liking, subscribing, turning on notifications and all that good stuff. And of course, I can't forget lightsabers. I do have some lightsaber videos coming out pretty soon, so just stay tuned for all of that. Got a lot of cool stuff for you guys. So without further ado, let's get a close-up look at this box, and it's time for Extreme Close Up! All right, so there's a real quick look at the box. Uh, as you can see, nothing really elaborate or different about this one. You got to look at the Death Watch Mandalorian at the very front and a little image of him in the lower right. It's all black, like usual. Um, it says the credits on the back, and then you have a look at the Death Watch here on the side. So again, nothing really elaborate about this box. Let's pop it open. All right, there is the uh, art that you see when you open the box. You see it looks really cool. That's really awesome. Always like seeing those displayed on, you know, when they, when they put them up. And there is the figure. All right, let's get everything out of the box. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, first up, we got a lot of swap out hands. You got a trigger hand like that. You got two of them. Here's another one. Really liking the details in it. The blue looks really good. Very nice. All right. You get two that are closed fisted. So it looks like he's going to be throwing a punch or something. And then you also get the ones that come on the figure itself, which we'll look at in a second. So those look really nice. You get a uh, leg plate from the looks of it that looks kind of like damaged. Can't really tell. I have to compare it to the original one to see what the deal with that is. It's got like a Velcro to it, so you could swap that out. I guess if you wanted to make it look a little different. It'd be kind of neat if they made a few different options for the armor. Um, you get this, what looks like a modified EE3. Um, probably isn't that rifle. I don't know exactly what the name of this rifle is but it does have a similar look to Boba Fett's rifle. It's got the scope and everything. It's just got an extra handle here at the front. So that looks dope. And then you got his sidearm, which that looks pretty cool too. It's got like a two-tone color to the metal, kind of like gun metal to it. And then like a solid gray. So nice. All right, you got the jetpack, which is nice. And it looks like the jets can be moved, so they can be articulated, which is nice, very cool. Again, like the coloring on it. I really am digging this blue color. I like how that looks. And you got that silver tone, so really nice there. All right, you got a couple of jets uh, or flames that come out of the jet packs. So you can add that to it if you wanna make it look like it's flying. And then we got the figure itself. Pop these out here. Let me see. There's only one layer, so there's nothing else that goes with it. You got the base here at the bottom. All right, so you get the um, the the arm like this, or the the rod that's flexible, so it allows you to uh, pose it when you have them uh, flying, if that's what you want to do. You get a waist grabber, I like these a lot, so that's really cool. And then you get a sculpted base, which is really, really nice. I've always liked sculpted bases. I like this terrain, it looks really good. It looks like it's spelled correctly, Death Watch Mandalorian. I gotta make sure about that because I've had some that come in misspelled, but that's how it looks. So, really neat. Liking that. All right, Star Wars Death Watch Mandalorian. All right, and then we got the figure. Let me get all this plastic off and we'll take a close look at him. All right, I got all the plastic taken off of it, and let me tell you, I am really, really impressed with the look of this uh, figure. This thing is really, really cool. Uh, love the weathering and the blue. That came out really nice. Check out that helmet. There's good articulation in this thing too. So you can see the detail in it. It's really, really nice. 
love the weathering like I said. So you can tilt your head side to side like that. You can turn all the way forward, all the way that way, all right? You can tilt forward like that so he's looking down. You can tilt up. And then of course you have articulation in the, in the viewfinder, all right? This is very delicate so I would be careful with that. I like the Death Watch logo here on the shoulder pad. So your shoulder pads are gonna have, um, they're gonna be stuck on there with Velcro. I tried to remove some of it so I can see if I can figure out how to articulate this arm a little better, but you know, it's, it's, uh, it's very, very tight on there. I kind of, it kind of removed the Velcro a little bit on it on accident, so I may have to glue it back on. Uh, otherwise, you have some articulation in the arms, you could see, but because of the undersuit, it's very restrictive. Um, you got that kind of motion there going forward and you got about that going back, all right? You do have double joints in the elbows, so you can bring the arm way up, so that's cool, all right? And of course, you got twisting and turning in the wrist and that just like any other hot toy. Now, uh, because there's not such a thick belt on here, you do have a lot of articulation in the waist. You can see it could twist the waist a lot, so that's cool. I can go forward like that. I can pull back like that, which is cool. So lots of movement there in the waist. The legs, kind of like the same thing with the, with the uh, arms. The, the undersuit kind of restricts a little bit. His, uh, his gun holster right here is actually attached to the belt and then also to the thigh. So it kind of, you know, pulls with it. So you have only so much movement there with the legs. But again, super nice detail in the armor. You can see that. You got dents and all kinds of stuff going on there to make it look like he's been through battle, which is great. You got the cool knee pads, I like the way the knee pads look. All right, you got double joints in the knees. Like I said, this, this thing is very, you know, poseable. So I like that, really cool. So it feels nice and stiff. The boots look really nice. Check out the weathering on the boots. They got, they got wear on the tips of the boots. So that looks really cool. All right, you can tilt the, the foot forward like that and you can go back about that far and you got some side to side. So lots of play with this character. Probably one of the more uh, posable Mandalorian figures that I've received. Definitely a hell of a lot more posable than the armorer was or the, uh, or the heavy Mando. So really, really cool. All right, let's put him in some poses. All right, there goes my first pose. Simple, basic, just have him standing there just like that. Uh, some of the things I do like about this uh, figure is that they carried over some of the other, uh, you know, pluses that I thought about other figures. Like, for instance, the jetpack has a magnet that attaches to the back, makes it very easy to put on, uh, so you don't have to worry about clipping it into anything, so that's really cool. Uh, I'm also digging that the way they did the gun holster, uh, which, let me see if I could spin that around here a little bit faster. But the gun holster here, that part, uh, the strap that comes down, that also has a magnet. So it makes it very easy to put the gun in its holster and then just, you know, clip it in. You don't have to worry about taking and looping it through anything, which is really nice. Um, very easy to pose in this, uh, in this stance. You know, nothing too elaborate. He stands on his own. He's got a really good balance. Uh, so that's also a nice plus with this figure. Uh, some of the things I didn't really notice when I first was uh, unboxing it, the rifle has some really good weathering right here in the stock area. And then on the sight, it, they painted it in a nice high gloss for the sight here in the glass, and it makes it look like real glass. Uh, it's very reflective, uh, and that looks really cool as well. So awesome looking figure so far. Let's do something more dynamic. All right, there we go. Another pose, a little more dynamic. As you can see, I have the legs spread out and he still balances really well, which is great. I got the sidearm out, which is cool. We're able to swap out the hands. Everything pops out really, really easily. Very, very nice. Um, love the way the clothes fold and it doesn't really get in the way of being able to put into a pose like this. Uh, really what I'm impressed about is the overall balance. I'm not using a base, I'm not using any kind of a waist grabber or crotch grabber to keep him balanced, and that's what I like, I like being able to do that so that way I can have multiple characters uh, posed together and not have to worry about the bases getting in the way. So, really nice. Let's uh, do 
maybe something even more dynamic. Maybe let, let's pull out the jetpack and get some, uh, some flying poses. All right, there you go in a uh, flying pose. Um, again, really nice balance. It, it seems to hold up really well, even in this type of uh, posing. The base doesn't even rock at all, so that's great. Uh, I love the uh, flame additions that you can put there on the back. The only thing that I could say is probably a negative right now that I just picked up on is that they didn't give you a, an optional hand for gripping. Uh, you have two trigger fingers, you have the hands that have open hands, and you also have a, uh, a hands that are closed fisted, but you don't have a hand that has like a, just a regular basic grip without the trigger look to it. Uh, so, you know, because of that, it kind of looks a little bit loose when he's holding uh, the, uh, the front part of the rifle uh, right there. Uh, but otherwise, uh, super cool uh, display options that you can have here. So I like how he's flying back like that. Pretty dope. All right, last pose. Um, wanted to see how he would look with the heavy mando next to him. I know these guys would never be in the scene together because they were just in two different eras, but uh, I, they look dope. They look pretty cool together. Uh, this, the helmets match up. It looks like they, they size well together, so I like that. Um, now I'm looking at him kneeling. They even got some really nice detail on the lower part of the boots here. So far, man, I mean, everything I'm, I'm looking at with this figure, I, I like this figure a lot. It's, it's really nice. Uh, I, I love that it's the more poseable uh, of the Mandalorian figures that I've been able to, to uh, get my hands on. So I like the poseability of this guy a whole lot compared to the heavy Mando and the, uh, the armor. Uh, even Din, even Din has a little more um, restrictions than this figure did. So I, I, I really like that about this figure. Uh, I like the accessories that it comes with. I do wish that it would have come with a more gripping hand that wasn't just the uh, regular you know, a trigger finger. Um, and, and that's, and that's it really, I could say negative about it. Paint wise, it looks great. Details look great. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a badass looking Mandalorian figure. Can't, can't really hate on it. I like it a lot. So if you guys are in the market to get it, I absolutely recommend it. You know, go ahead and pick it up. Maybe you could even find it on a deal, use some points on it. Um, would be cool to see, to get a few of these and maybe, modify the armor just a touch so that you can maybe army build a little bit with it uh, or hopefully they'll release more uh, death watch mandalorian in the future um, so yeah dig it a lot let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this new death watch mandalorian did you pick it up is it your favorite what, what are you guys uh, going to do with it let me know i'm always interested to see uh, what you guys do with your your pieces how you display it gives me ideas on what i can do with my stuff so thanks again for joining me, and until next time, may the force be with you.